Sam from Rainy Bits. I am back today to share with you an easy way uh, using paint, no harsh chemicals, to transform a really bright piece of galvanized homeware that you find in the shops uh, into something a little bit more easy on the eyes and sort of blends in a little bit better with your home decor and to give it a nice farmhouse vintage look into a little something like this with a bit of paint um, and some uh, a little bit of distressing and some stenciling. So let's get busy painting. For today's project, we just need something galvanized and in, uh, for today's little demo, I'm gonna use uh, uh, the planter. And I'm going to use my Klingon R14, which is a round brush, and I want to get as much moisture out of the brush as I can uh, because we're going to be doing a bit of dry brushing. And then I'm just going to use a little sample pot of ash, um, fusion ash, and then on top of that we're going to use the Miss Mustard Zinc Wax, which is, is an awesome little product. And then we're just going to use my stencil, number two, a uh, bit of painter's tape, uh, a makeup sponge and some 120 grit sandpaper. Okay, so as I said, we want to get mo as much as we can moisture-wise because these get the, these Klingon brushes get stored in uh, water uh, all the time. So that's pretty well much dry, and you just want to fluff up the bristles a little bit so they're not all stuck together. And then we're just going to take the lid off, give the Fusion Ash a little bit of a shake. And I will probably only need that little bit that's on the uh, clean wrap to do this whole project. It's not gonna take, it doesn't take a lot, of pro, a lot of paint, which is awesome. Okay, so the reason I went for a dark gray was because, um, you know, it's sort of like, it's the closest thing to uh, uh, the metallic side of things um, so now we want to just get a little bit of paint on our brush and then we just want to wipe it off I should have some paper towel here but I don't so we're just going to use this uh, old rag and you just wipe that on like so until you get most of the paint off and then you just go over your piece just lightly up a little bit more paint I probably wiped up a little bit too much and you just want to go over the whole piece just really lightly you sort of play around with a little little bit and as you can see it's already dulling down uh, that bright galvanized look which sticks out a lot. And that little sneeze was my daughter's cat. I'm babysitting them at the moment and they are so cute. And they're down here with me at the moment being my little helpers. <laughs> you just keep playing around with it, just dry brushing to sort of give it a natural look. You want to go inside the pot a little bit as well, just so that it doesn't stick out when you've got your plant in there. Okay. So I'm just going to let that dry now. Um, that's pretty well much it for the, the fusion ash. We won't need that anymore. Um, so I'll just let that dry and then we'll come back and do the last little bit. Okay, so I did let that first coat dry, but I wasn't quite happy with it. So I have gone on a little heavier again with the ash, just popping some more out onto the, like just not even dipping my brush in. And I've gone back over the whole entire piece again uh, because we will be distressing. So um, that will dull that back a little bit. Okay, so we'll just let that dry and then we will get on to the next bit.
it's all dry now. Um, I'm just going to take um, some 120 grit sandpaper and just lightly give it a distress. it a bit of an aged look and then the next step we're going to grab our stencil you could use any stencil that you like really um, I'll leave a link below with all the products that I've used in this uh, project for you uh, you just make sure that it's in the middle I'm using that as a gauge and I'm eyeballing it can be tricky sometimes to be sort of doing things that are on a curve, especially when this sort of goes up out like this. So, and I'm only just going to be doing the number. I'm not going to be doing the, the words down the side there. Okay, so I'm just going to grab my painter's tape. We can sit So beautiful. Okay, just, sorry, I need to turn that around just to face me, just to make sure that I'm putting it on straight. Okay. So that's on now. So using my little bit of glad wrap from before, that was on top of my fusion pot of ash. I'm just going to dab a tiny weeny bit into the pot and then I'm just going to dab it on the cling wrap to get rid of most of it and just lightly go on because you don't want it to bleed. Using your fingers just hold down because it's a bit, bit of a bigger stencil it's a good idea to kind of like hold it down to stop any little side leakages. So we'll just let that dry and then we'll come back and peel off the stencil and then we'll get on with the next bit. So that's all dry now. It didn't take very long, which is good. And then I'm just going to grab my sander again and I'm going to give it a good old sand just to distress the number two. But not too much. And then to dull everything down a little bit and give it a nice sort of like galvanized natural look. I'm just going to take a little bit of the Miss Mustard Seed Wax and I'm just going to wipe it all over the tin. Or should I say planter? So there you have a really easy way just to dull that uh, galvanized looked look, the sparkly look that you get when you buy that stuff in that hasn't been, hasn't sort of aged naturally. Um, so these are all ready for some pots to be put in there and um, you could you really could do it on anything. You could do it on um, trays, you could do it on t um, uh, big galvanized tub planters, whatever you, whatever you choose. Um, the, the possibilities are endless. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you've enjoyed this DIY of how to dull the bright and uh, sparkly galvanized things that you can buy, um, dull it down a little bit to make it a little bit more vintage and plant housey. Um, I might even try it. Oh look, here comes TJ. She's come to say hello. <laughs> he, I should say. Say hello everyone. <laughs> Isn't he beautiful? 
he's staying with us until the weekend and then we have to give him back, but we're going to be sad about that because he's a cuddle bug. Um, and Zala, she's the, she's the shy one, so yeah, he's beautiful. Anyway, cat distract, distraction. Um, I'm going to try it on these uh, little galvanised tins uh, that I've also I've got down in the studio that I house all the brushes in for my workshops. Um, I might even put something like paint across the front of them, I'm not sure yet. Anyway, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, be sure to leave me a comment if you have any questions. Um, I'll make sure that I leave all the links for all the products that I've used and also the link across to the blog post.